So we have here Brother Vince um, Radley, and um, he has a wonderful song out, Miracle. The first time I heard it, I loved it. When I was even thinking about interviewing him, I got a, a rap song today, so he's very anointed. I love Miracle. I love the lyrics. Um, it, it's very encouraging. What um, made you write that song? Uh, you know what, sis? I, had, I was in a season of shifting. Uh, the Lord had moved my wife and I 2,000 plus miles away from home mm -hmm. and uh, we had landed from Michigan. We didn't know anybody here. We, we came here pure off of obedience. Mm -hmm. So it was a season where the Lord was really training my ear and teaching me how to hear his voice clearly and how to be obedient to the specific instructions. And one of those instructions were to move. And once we landed there, the next instruction was for like three months straight I heard him say it's time to work on your music mm. but the thing about it is I never had a desire to be an artist uh, especially a solo artist I grew up singing with my brothers I grew up writing I had written probably over honestly over 15 20 songs of my lifetime mm -hmm. and I, I when I when I when I finally got to the point to where I said yes Yes, Lord. Um, he was waiting for me to be obedient and say yes. Mm -hmm. to just, just the work that he was calling me to do. Mm -hmm. And um, I had laid and I would lay up uh, uh, wide awake late at night when my wife was asleep, and I would hear him pressing me, saying, "Work on the music." Mm -hmm. And when I spoke to my wife one day, I said, "We just moved. Uh, I don't have a home studio. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to build my finances in this new place. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to try to." invest into you know music and I told my wife and she said if that's what the Lord is telling you to do then that's what we need to do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that was the confirmation that I needed so I, when I said yes not only did I say yes the next question was where do I start mm -hmm. and the Lord literally guided me and showed me how to build a home studio and I had all these songs written and he said none of these songs are the is the first song that I want you to release oh wow I, I had all these songs I said okay perfect Oh, which song did I release first? Which one? And the Lord said, I'm going to give you a new song. Mm -hmm. And right then and there, I went into prayer and fasting. And the only word I could hear was miracle. I didn't oh, know. Wow. I like, oh, wow. Okay, thank you, Lord. Is it a fast song? Is it a worship song? And I didn't know what, you know, I'm like, is it a rap song? Like my sister Eve? <laughs> <laughs> and, the Lord, and the Lord spoke to me and said, in your quiet time, I will literally give you lyric by lyric and I spent probably one week maybe two mm -hmm. just meditating on miracle I started to read more about the miracles of the Bible again and, mm -hmm. uh, the blind man by the Mary and and the woman mm -hmm. at the well and the woman with the 12 issues of blood and the man that had to pick up his bed and walk mm -hmm. and the multitudes mm -hmm. and he literally gave me the flow as I read he just mm -hmm. fed me and I had no choice. I mean, I fell in love with the lyrics. Um, they ministered to me first. Mm -hmm. I sung it to my wife. It, it, it blessed her. She loved it. Called my producer. Uh, sung it to him. And we just put it all together. And it was the last song that I wrote and the first song that I released. Oh, thanks to be to it, 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 it has a special place in my heart because I, I'm, I'm living those lyrics. Mm -hmm. I am ready to be God's miracle. And Amen. I'm holding on to it. Um, no matter the circumstance, no matter how long it takes, my goal is to maintain steadfast, unmovable, and Amen. Stay, stay in God Amen. until the manifestation of that miracle happens. He's Amen. already miraculously kept me mm -hmm. uh, through the accident, but now I'm waiting on the manifestation. And until then, I'll continue to press and work and, and bless him. I thought I knew what patience was mm -hmm. before my car accident. Mm -hmm. I thought I knew what humility was mm -hmm. for my character did that. Mm -hmm. When my character didn't happen, it took away my independence mm -hmm. 100%. Mm -hmm. And I had to lean on and I had to learn how mm -hmm. to depend on other people for everything. Mm -hmm. My message would be, don't wait until a near-death experience or a fatal accident happened in your life. Mm -hmm to learn what the true meaning of humility and patience is. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when I got engaged, mm -hmm. uh, it was three weeks before the accident, mm -hmm. and my life changed before I could actually get married. Mm -hmm. And 
the vows of marriage says for better or for worse. Mm -hmm. For us, we saw the worst mm -hmm. in the beginning of the marriage. Mm -hmm. and nobody expects to see the worst. No, no. The Lord allowed us to be unified in the worst time mm -hmm. in which the marriage was the best thing that ever happened to me. And it, it, it groomed me, it trained me how to have a different level of patience, a different level of faith. I no longer could depend on my strength. I no longer could depend on my worth ethic. I had to depend on God. And mm -hmm. my message would, would totally be, depend on God now. Mm -hmm. Take my word for it. Don't, don't wait until the worst case scenario in life happens. Take my word and depend on God now so that God forbid, because what happened to me can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm. If there is a life changing situation that happens to you, you already have the level of faith, patience, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the you know just relationship with Christ mm -hmm. to carry through those situations, mm -hmm. and also never allow your current situation to dictate who you really are. If you're a child of God, if God has for you to do great things, mm -hmm. you can do great things no matter your situation, no matter your circumstances. Amen. I have um, a show out on YouTube. Can you tell us a little bit about what the purpose is and what it's all about? Just a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, uh, and I've been there for years, <laughs> my wife and I, uh, my queen, Larisse, shout out to my wife, Larisse Rutley. Mm -hmm. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that is my best friend. Mm -hmm. We decided to start a channel and a, a, a YouTube page called Stuck in a rut mm -hmm. and only when you hear stuck in a rut it's not a good thing yeah but when we found our things rutly we thought we would make it make make it interesting and uh rut or stuck in a rut and it, and it really it represents the inside of our marriage the inside of our life so many people see me in this wheelchair so many people see us smiling and see us out and about and we're looking healthy and we're well and they're wondering how do they have so much joy mm -hmm so much peace mm -hmm. in such a difficult situation mm -hmm. and said you know what it's time to let people in to not only show them that it's real mm -hmm. but let's show them how let's mm -hmm. show them how god has constantly over and over again provided for us and blessed us and opened doors let's show them the the struggles of what we go through the reality of what we go through mm -hmm. but let's also show them how if the lord is the center of your home and he is the center of your peace, mm -hmm. then your smile and your joy and your peace is real. Everybody mm -hmm. does not have to go through depression. Everybody does not have to mm -hmm. out and out because, mm -hmm. you know, they don't have their legs or, you know, the life that life hasn't gone in the direction of the mm -hmm. one it. Mm -hmm. Still have joy and peace mm -hmm. in the midst of the storm. Mm -hmm. So we said, let's let people live our life.